Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here back with another movie reaction and today we're going to be checking out Mary Poppins. Now this movie comes from, or I should say, this request comes from Patreon with Daniel and he's on one of my personal reaction tiers. Gotta say, haven't watched this movie. This is one of the movies my grandmother always tried to get me to watch as a kid and I just, I don't know, I just never could get into it. The only thing that I do know about this movie is actually comes from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 when Yondu came flying down on his uh his arrow that he had and um <laughs> and uh st st Peter Quill looks at him and goes, "You look like Mary Poppins." So I'm assuming she flies or something. Like I am assuming that she flies. I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I, I laugh because that's all I know about this. And it's funny how I know something from a different movie. It's always funny how they put Easter eggs in different movies for things like that. But I'm really excited to go ahead and check this out. So if you guys would like to watch my full length reaction to Mary Poppins on my Patreon, go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me. And now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch a movie together. Let's go ahead and check out Mary Poppins. Chin chimney, chin chimney, chin chin chimney. A sweep is as lucky as. Oh, my God, she's in a cloud. Chin chimney, chin chimney, chin chin chimney. Good luck will rub off when he shakes hands with you. <laughs> oh, what, ladies and gents, comical poem, suitable for the occasion, extemporized and thought up before your very eyes. All right, here we go. Roomy for everyone, gather around. The constable is responsible. Now, how does that sound? Mm. <laughs> Hello, Miss Lock. I got one for you. Miss Locke likes to walk in the park with Andrew. <laughs> Hello, Andrew. Okay, then. Dear Miss Persimmon. Yes? Uh-oh. Winds in the east. Miss coming in. Like something is brewing. About to begin, can't put me finger on what lies in store. I feel what's to happen. All happened before. What does that mean? I'm sorry, where was I? <laughs> I'm gonna learn this whole routine. I'm gonna get all those instruments and I'm gonna learn it. Thank you, one and all, for your kind support. Or we don't get support. Uh, Got Ms. it. Love, thank you. <laughs> no charge. <laughs> the constable's like, nope. Oh, it's you. Hello. Hi. Number 17, Cherry Tree Line, you say? All right, come on with me. Okay, what's that? This here cherry tree line. Now, this imposing edifice, what first greets the eye, is the home of Admiral Boom, late of His Majesty's Navy. Likes his our ship shape, he does. Ship shape and Bristol fight. Oh, my. Times. Time gun ready. Ready in charge, sir. Three minutes and six seconds. Aye, aye, sir. <gasps> What he's famous for is punctuality. The old world takes its time from Greenwich. But Greenwich, they say, takes its time from Admiral Boom. What's your Admiral? Good afternoon to you, young man. Where are you bound? Number 17. Got some parties here in tow. What wants to see it? 
A word of advice, young man. Storm signals are up at number 17. Bit of heavy weather brewing there. Thank you, sir. Keep an eye skin. Here we are. Number 17, Cherry Tree Light. Hello, hello, hello. Admiral's right. Heavy weather brewing at number 17, and no mistake. That sounds like a murder's happening. Oh, that's right. They are good riddance. I never liked it from the moment you set foot in the door. I wouldn't stay in this house another minute, not if you heaped me with all the jewels in Christendom. No, no, Katie, Nana. Don't go. Stand away from that door, my girl. But what am I going to tell the master? She was going to beat her with that broom. <laughs> or not, not the broom, the umbrella. <laughs> run away from me for the last time. No, no, Katie, Nana. This is Banks. She's home. Our daughters, daughters, will adore us. And we'll sing and break the chorus. Well done, Sister Suffragette. Good evening, Katie and Hannah. Ellen, we had the most glorious meeting. Well Banks, Banks, Banks. 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 Now, what is it, Katie and Hannah? Mrs. Banks, I have something to say to you. Where are the children? Oh, boy. The children, madam, to be precise, are not here. They've disappeared again. Katie and Hannah, this is really too careless of you. Doesn't it make the third time this week? The fourth. What will Mr. Banks say? He's going to be cross enough as it is to come home and find the children missing. Ellen, put these things away. You know how the cause infuriates Mr. Banks. Yes, ma'am. Katie and Hannah, I beseech you, please read. I keep. I, I just forgot that this is back in the sixties. Mr. Banks, <laughs> he was just beginning to get used to you. Ghosts, everyone! Oh God, it's one of those. Oh my god! Now that's talent. Uh oh. <laughs> Bit early tonight, aren't you, Admiral? Nonsense! Bang on the dot as usual. The wind's coming up and the glass is falling. Don't like the look of it. Good, good, good. Banks! Shouldn't wonder if you weren't staring into a nasty piece of weather. Banks! <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't care. Oh! Hello, Katie Nana. That must be heavy. Allow me. <laughs> Do you not realize what? Do you think she's just going on a trip? Like, uh, okay. I feel a surge of deep satisfaction. Dear, it's about the children. Yes, yes, yes. They're missing home. again, dear. <laughs> on schedule. At 6.01, I march through my door. My slippers, sherry, and pipe are due. At 6.02, consistent is the life I lead. George, they're missing. Splendid, splendid. It's grand to be an English. He just said splendid. Wow, he's not paying attention. King Edward's on the throne. It's the age of men. And so I'll pat them on the head and send them off to bed. They're not there. <laughs> the, life I lead. the kids are not there. Where are the children? Yeah, really. They're not here, dear. What? Where do they? I I, I just Give never ran seat. away Where from kids. Or I as a, as a kid, I mean. The facts of the matter... Kindly do not attempt to cloud the issue with facts. One fact and one fact alone is crystal clear. Katie and Anna's faltered at her post. She's let the family down. And I shall bring her to book... She's already oh. left. She's left us. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, dear. You oh, helped her with her bag. <laughs> what bag, dear? Yes. Uh, uh, 17 Cherry Tree Lane. I should like you to send a policeman round immediately. The policeman's here, George. Oh, boy. What? Oh, how very prompt. What wonderful service. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good night. Come along now. Come along. The kids. Oh, boy. How many are there? Jane. Michael. Winifred, please don't be emotional. Well? I'm sorry we lost Katie and the father. You see, it was windy. And the kite was too strong for us. We made it ourselves. Perhaps if you helped us to make one. Oh, that's the ticket, sir. Kites are skittish things. <laughs> Why, only last week with me only. I'm very grateful to you, Constable, for returning the children. Thank you, sir. I shall now return to my duties. Thank you, Constable. Good night, miss. Good night, ma'am. Good night, sir. Cook or farm yourself tonight. <laughs> 
Ellen, take Jane and Michael upstairs straight away. Yes, sir. See, this is the problem, dude. You're not spending time with your kids. Now it's all crystal clear. I'll try to do better next time. Next time, my dear, you've engaged six nannies in the last four months, and they've all been unqualified disasters. Dude, don't blame this on your wife. Okay, hold on. I forgot what time period we're in. It requires insight, balanced judgment, and an ability to read character. Under the circumstances, I think it might be apropos to take it upon myself to uh, select the next person. Take this down, please. Yes, of course, dear. Wanted. Uh, no, uh, required. Nanny, firm, respectable, no nonsense. Father? Yes? We've discussed everything. Why does that son look so what we did today. sickly? I should certainly <laughs> think so. It was wrong to run away from Case Nana. It was indeed. And we do so want to get on with the new nanny. Very sensible. I should be glad to have your help in the matter. We thought you would. That's why we wrote this advertisement. Advertisement for what? For the new nanny. You wrote an advert... George, I think we should listen. You said you wanted our help. But I... Go very well. Wanted a nanny for two adorable children. Adorable. Well, that's debatable, I must say. If you want this choice position, have a cheery disposition. Jane, I don't... Rosy cheeks, no warts. That's the part I put in. Play games, <laughs> all sorts. Love us as a son and daughter, and never smell of barley water. They just I described the opposite of their dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, most interesting. And I think we've had quite enough of this nonsense. Please return to the nursery. George. If you would just spend time with your kids, maybe they wouldn't be so naughty. They were only trying to help. They're just children. I'm well aware they're just children, Winifred. I only congratulate myself that I decided to step in and take a hand. Play games, sing songs, give treats. Ridiculous. You're always so forceful. Oh. Right. George Banks here, 17 Cherry Tree Lane. I wish to place an advertisement in your column. We all know who's coming. Time gun ready. Ready in charge, sir. I'll take the report, Mr. Benicol. The wind has changed, sir. Seems to be coming in from a new quarter. So it is. Sir. What is it? A bit of something or other taking place off the port bow. Gosh, me oh my god. Cool, I must say. How many nannies are there? They're all old. <laughs> Sorry. That's offensive. I didn't mean it like that. You know what I mean. There's a fair queue of nannies outside, sir. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my god. <laughs> it is now eight o'clock. <laughs> you time and time again, Ellen. I dislike being hurried into things. They're not what we advertise for at all. No, they all are, they're all dressed the same. <laughs> Where is Mary Poppins? <laughs> we need her. Oh. Oh. Well, they're all flying away. Okay. I think that settled it. <laughs> She's holding on for dear life. <laughs> Bye. Bye -bye. Take a look. <laughs> I was right, she flies. <laughs> Perhaps it's a witch. Of course not. Witch is that proof. No, it's Yadu. Show them in one at a time. You may come in one at a time. Thank you. Oh, wow. 
Oh, oh, that was very, uh... <laughs> you are the father of Jane and Michael Banks, are you not? Now then, the qualifications. Item one, a cheery disposition. I am never cross. Item two, rosy cheeks. Obviously. Item three, play games all sorts. Well, I'm sure the children will find my games extremely diverting. May I, this paper, where did you get it from? I thought I'd tore it up. Excuse me. I four, <laughs> you must be kind. I am kind, but extremely firm. Yo, she has got to take over the house. Oh! oh. That, that paper, you see, I thought that I... You are George Banks, are you not? What? And you did advertise for a nanny, did you not? George Banks. Very well, then. <laughs> I beg your pardon, are you ill? I he might be. <laughs> now, about my wages. The reference here is very obscure. Very obscure. We must be very clear on that point, mustn't we? Yes, we must indeed. I shall require every second Tuesday off. Every Tuesday. Every second Tuesday. On second thoughts, I believe a trial period would be wise. He's trying to find the paper. It's, it's in her hand, dude. I'll give you one week. I'll know by then. Wow. You, I'll she, see the children now. She just you. told you that you might not be worth her time. <laughs> oh. So she is a witch. <laughs> She's magic. George. Oh my god, this poor man's gonna have a concussion. I thought you were interviewing nannies. I was, I was. You mean you selected one already? <laughs> yes, it's done. It's more like the nanny interviewed him and selected him. Nursery, of course. I mean, I put it to work straight away. How clever of you. <laughs> Just needs a touch here and there. Well, first things first. I always say the place to hang a hat is on a hat stand. Oh, my. This woman has that bag that Hermione had in Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, this lady just has a whole traveling apartment with her. Keep an eye on this one. She's tricky. She's she gonna shove you in that bag, little man. Just as I thought. Extremely stubborn and suspicious. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it says it. <laughs> suspicious. That's great. You gotta love it. Rather inclined to giggle doesn't put things away. <laughs> How about you? As I expected, Mary <laughs> practically, perfect practically perfect in every way. In every way. <laughs> Mary Poppins, is that your name? It's lovely. Thank you. I've always liked it. Our first game is called Well Begun is Half Done. I don't like the sound of that. Otherwise entitled, Let's Tidy Up the Nursery. I told you she was tricky. Uh-oh. Shall we begin? I want to clean my room like this. Like, can I do that? Teach me how to do magic. <laughs> Lady's gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> she wanted was a break from the kids and she just got it she like won the lottery hello art lovers hello today i'm a screever and as you can see a screever's an artist <laughs> of highest degree mary poppins it's nice to see you again bert i expect you know jane and michael well i've seen them hearing about chasing a kite last time wasn't it well, mine just not my place to say, but what she's probably got in mind is a jolly holiday somewhere or other. Beautiful, ain't it? A typical English countryside as done by a true and loving Anne. 
Okay. Now that's what was supposed to happen. You look beautiful. Do you really think so? Cross me, aren't you? Do like the day I met you. <laughs> I did a glorious die right as a morning in my. I feel like I could fly. Now, Bert, none of your larking about. <laughs> Get the animated animals. That's great. <laughs> It's a jolly holiday with Mary. Oh my god! Mary makes your heart so light. That's so cool! When the day is gray and ordinary, Mary makes the sunshine bright. Sing it, cow. Happiness <laughs> is blooming all around us. The daffodils are smiling at the dove. Why dove? Why dove? <laughs> chop chop boys let's go Indeed. If you don't want to go nowhere. <laughs> Who says we're not going anywhere? Oh, God. Right there, Mary Poppins. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. See, no, I wouldn't be okay with this. I would... I'd be like, put me back on the Stay ground, off. please. It's Mary Poppins leading by two lengths. Join the second by a length. Michael third. And there you go. <laughs> I was not expecting that voice. <laughs> Faith in Begara, tis him red course again. Up you go. Now hang on. Psst. Would you look at that now? Tis an elegant merry-go-round house. <laughs> the accent is great. <laughs> oh my god! Faster, me beauty! Faster! <laughs> oh god. Well, alright. <laughs> Only one. On the contrary, there's a very good word. Am I right, Bert? Tell him what it is. Right. Oh, the rain just had to ruin it. I was having hey, fun. Michael. Oh, Bert, all your fine drawings. Well, there's more where they came from. Meantime, I'm changing businesses. This year is lovely hot chestnut. Cheru. <laughs> This whole movie is a catch. It's like, it's awesome. Mary Poppins, you won't ever leave us, will you? Do you have a handkerchief under your pillow? Mm. Will you stay if we promise to be good? Oh, that's a pie crust promise. Easily made, easily broken. Whatever would we do without you? I shall stay until the wind changes. 
Oh, here we go. Dude gonna wake the whole house up again. Glorious day, Mr. Vinico, glorious. No one sleeps this morning. Put in a double charge of powder. A double what charge? the hell? Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> Shake things up a bit, what? After our meeting at the Albert Hall, we're all going to Downing Street to throw things at the Prime Minister. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> What's all that fearful caterwauling in the kitchen? It's cook singing. Cook singing? What's wrong with her? She's as happy as a cricket. Since you hired Mary Poppins, the most extraordinary thing seems to have come over the household. Is that so? She and Cook usually fight like cats and dogs. But today... Let me hold the door for you, Ellen, dear. Thanks ever so, ducks. What the heck is going on in this house? I will not have this. Shut the window. That bird's giving me a headache. Yes, sir. Yes, you're giving the master an headache. <laughs> it's almost like he said, oh, sorry. sorry. Well <laughs> this morning, I just don't understand why everyone's so confounded and cheerful. What on earth are you talking about? Super kind of... <laughs> Super, or whatever the infernal thing is. Is that what you say when you don't know what to say? Yes, well, I always know what to say. Go on, hurry along, please. Yes, Father. Super Kelly You wanted these kids to be more well behaved, and now you're being an ass about it. Like, what is going on with this guy? I should like to make a slight differentiation between the word cheerful and just plain giddy irresponsible. Oh, here we go. Excuse me, dear. Post! Post, everyone, please! No objection to anyone being cheerful or pleasant. And I do expect a certain decorum. I can tell you one thing, Winifred. I don't propose standing idly by and letting that woman Mary Poppins undermine the discipline in Oh! It's something odd, I mentioned it on. But the behavior of this household since that woman arrived. And I want you to know that I've noticed it. Yes, dear. No one cares, dear. <laughs> one thing more. Yes, dear. I suggest you have this piano repaired. When I sit down to an instrument, I like to have it in tune. But George. You don't play. Madam, <laughs> it's entirely beside the point. No, it's not. How do you know if it's in tune if you don't even know how to play it, you doofus? <laughs> this dad is like a whole box of crazy cats, man. It's Andrew. Yeah, whose dog is this? Uh, not so fast, please. I can't understand a word you're saying. Again? Oh, the poor man. I need subtitles. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> well, yes, of course, there's not a moment to... Andrew, worrying won't help anyone. Why don't you go home and put your feet up? <laughs> He's like, all right, <laughs> I'm on my way. Oh, that's great. Oh, Uncle Albert. Oh, what the heck are you doing? It's Mary Poppins. I'm delighted. I'm delighted to see you, Mary. Uncle Albert, you promised. Oh, I know. Is that the Candy King? King Candy from Wreck-It Ralph? That's what he sounds like. Obviously, he's probably not alive now, but still. Really quite serious. Yes, whatever you do, keep a straight face. Last time it took us three days to get him down. <laughs> I love to laugh <laughs> loud and long and clear. I love to laugh. <laughs> it's getting worse every year. Yeah, Bert, you're not understanding the assignment, buddy. <laughs> Some people laugh through their noses, sounding something like this. <laughs> Dreadful. That was so weird. <laughs> Some laugh too fast. <laughs> Some only blast. <laughs> Others, they twitter like birds. <laughs> 
You know you're as bad as he is. <laughs> and, uh, oh my god. <laughs> How nice. <laughs> I was hoping you, Dana. <laughs> We always have such a jolly time. We love to laugh. <laughs> Loud and long and clear. The more you laugh. Oh, wow. Come back down here. Oh, no. There they go. There they go. Children, <laughs> welcome. Make yourselves comfortable. Isn't that right? Pull up a chair. <laughs> oh, pull up. It's the most disgraceful sight I've ever seen. Oh, my name isn't Mary Poppins. Speaking of names, I know a man with a wooden leg named Smith. What's the name of his other leg? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, actually. <laughs> now then, children, it's time for tea. I will not have my schedule interrupted. Oh, please stay. Look, I have a splendid tea all ready for you. And it's getting cold. Well, I had hope that maybe that you would just... Oh, well, okay. Well, I guess we're having the tea in the sky. Thank you very much. Oh, well, if I must, I must. <laughs> if you'll just stop behaving like a pack of laughing hyenas. <clears throat> Two lumps, Uncle Albert? Yes, please. Uh, Bert? Uh, no, no, thank you. No sugar for me. A friend of mine went to buy some long underwear. The shopkeeper said to him, how long do you want it? And my friend said, well... Well, as long as the winner. September to March. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get the humor. <laughs> There's no way to get down. Oh, no, there is a wish. I have to think of something sad. It's time to go home. Oh, that oh, is no. sad. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> that's the saddest thing I ever heard. <laughs> Come along, children. Oh my god, that was so, really that was a lot. <laughs> you know, people come to see me all the time, you know. And, and we have such a lovely time and then they have to go home and and I'm very, very sad about the whole thing. Uncle Albert? <laughs> I got a jolly joke I say for just such an occasion. Well, it's about my granddad, see? One night he had a nightmare, he did. <laughs> so scared that he chewed his pillow to bits. Yeah. Bits. Yeah. Next morning I says, how do you feel, granddad? Yeah. He says, oh, not bad. A little down in the mouth. <laughs> 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 I always say there's nothing like a good joke. No. And that was nothing like a good joke. That, uh, <laughs> oh, he said it was bad. <laughs> oh, my God. Speaking of afternoons, the joke goes like this. I know a man with a wooden leg named Smith. Smith? We don't know anyone called Smith. And there was a second chap, and the second chap says, what's the name of his other leg? And we had a lovely tea <laughs> party on the ceiling. Oh, children, please be quiet. Mary Poppins says if we're good, she'll take us there again. Oh. Oh, Mary Poppins said that, did she? Why is his dad you so neglectful, man? Mary Poppins. Will you be kind enough to come with me? As you wish. Don't you fire her. She's doing so good for your Mary kids. Poppins, I very much regret what I must say to you. I don't deny that I am partially responsible for allowing the children to spend their days on worthless frivolity, to the exclusion of all else. But it is high time they learn the seriousness of life. In short, I am disturbed to hear my children talking about popping in and out of chalk pavement pictures, consorting with racehorse persons, fox hunting. Yes, well, I don't mind that quite so much. At any rate, it's traditional. But tea parties on the ceiling? These silly words like super... Uh, super... Uh, super... Uh, super califragilistic expialidocious. Yes, well done, you said it. And popping <laughs> through pictures. Tomorrow, just as you suggest, pressed and dressed, Jane and Michael will be at your side. Then oh, then, oh. And the nail right on the... At my oh. side, where are we going? The bank, of course, exactly as you proposed. I proposed? Of course. Now, if you'll excuse me, tomorrow is an important day for the children. I shall see they have a proper night's sleep. Good night. <laughs> she said, fine, that's what you want, that's what you're gonna get. Bro, she did the Uno reverse card on you. 
<laughs> He's like, oh no, what have I done? Daddy's going to take the children to the bank? It certainly sounded that way, dear. Sometimes a person we love, through no fault of his own, can't see past the end of his nose. Early each day to the steps of St. Paul's, the little old bird woman. The birds toppins a bag toppins 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 a bag feed the birds that's what she cries while overhead her birds fill the skies though her words are simple and few listen listen she's calling to you feed the birds tuppence a bag tuppence 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 a bag I thought it was your bank. Yes, well, I'm one of the younger officers, so in a sense it is, sort of. Michael, look! It's her! Who? It's who? The bird woman, just where Mary Poppins said she would be. You do see her, don't you, Father? Well, of course I can see her. Do you think I can't see past the end of my nose? Listen, Father, she's saying <laughs> it. Feed the birds. Tuppence the bird. Well, of course she's saying it. What else would she be saying? Please, may we feed the birds? Whatever for? I have tuppence from my money box. Just this once, please. Waste your money on a lot of ragamuffin birds? Certainly not. But Mary Poppins... I am not interested in what Mary Poppins says. Nor do I wish to keep hearing her name for the remainder of the day. Now, come along. But it's my tuppence. Michael, I will not permit you to throw your money away. When we get to the bank, I shall show you what may be done with your tuppence. And I think you'll find it extremely interesting. This doesn't feel like an outing, it feels more like a chore. <laughs> they wish to open an account, sir. Oh, indeed. Yeah. And just how much money do you have, young man? Tuppence, but I want it to be the birds. Tuppence? <laughs> Tuppence? Precisely how I started. Jesus, this guy is gonna fall and die. That's the chairman of the bank, the elder Mr. Dawes, a giant in the world of finance. A giant? An elder, all right. Uh, father, these are banks' children. That's your dad? They want to open an account. Oh, they do, do they, boy? Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, I wouldn't take that step. Oh, I wouldn't oh, take that step. Don't do it. Oh, oh you more money to oh, put to work for the bank, can't we, boy? God, this poor guy. If you invest your tuffins wisely in the bank. This guy's gonna use his last breath to sing this song. <laughs> Soon that tuffins safely invested in the bank will come pound. England stands. Oh, oh, oh. That guy's not gonna be standing much longer. He gonna die. Do when Dude's giving me a heart attack. England, England Welcome to our joyful family of investors. Give it back! Give me back the money! Michael! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, this is bad for them. Stop all payments. Stop all payments. Oh, not good. I just can't! 
Like, this is chaos. Oh, God. Oh, it's him. Bert, it's you. In the flesh and at your service. Bert will take care of you like I was your own father. Now, who's after you? Father is. <laughs> he wants to see his bank. I don't know what we did, but it must have been something dreadful. Well, now there must be some mistake. Your dad's a fine gentleman and he loves you. I don't think so. You should have seen the look on his face. He doesn't like us at all. Well... No, this is why I need to spend it? more time with them. It's true. Let's sit down. But the one my aunt goes out to is your father. There he is, in that cold, artless bank day after day, hemmed in by mounds of cold, artless money. I don't like to see any living thing caged up. Father, in a cage? They make cages in all sizes and shapes, you know. Bank shapes, some of them, carpets and all. You've got your mother to look after you. And Mary Poppins, and Constable Jones, and me. Who looks after your father? Tell me that. When something terrible happens, what does he do? Fends for himself, he does. Who does he tell about it? No one. He can't tell anybody Nobody about it. Who's he going to tell? He just pushes on at his job, uncomplaining and alone and silent. I thought they were with their father. You haven't been running off again, have you? You know how terribly it upsets me. Well, they haven't exactly been running away, Mum. They... Have had a bit of a fright, though. Need someone to look after him. Oh, of course. Mary Poppins, but... Oh, no, it's her day off. What about you, sir? You've been so kind in looking after the children. Uh, me, Mum? Well, I, I have to be moving along. The Lord Mayor's got to stop up Chimley. Chimney? How clever of you to know. Chimney is a wondrous thing. It's built tall right up there on the roof. When the wind is just right, it blows across the top and draws the smoke right up the flue. Michael, be careful. You never know what may happen around a fireplace. Oh! Oh, bother. Now, thank you to stop putting ideas in their heads. Oh, my God. There, goes there she goes, too. Shall I go after them? <laughs> well, we can't have them gallivanting up there like kangaroos, can we? Heck. <laughs> wow, she made stairs. Good job. What did I tell you? There's the whole world at your feet. And who gets to see it but the birds, the stars, and the chimney sweeps? Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim cheree. cheree. When you're with a sweep, you're in glad company. Nowhere is there a more happier crew than, than them what sings chim chim cheree, chim cheroo. Cheroo! 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 It's all me pals! <laughs> Stepping time! Stepping time! Stepping time! Stepping time! <laughs> Not the Admiral watching. <laughs> we may get attacked by hot and dark. He's gonna oh, fire the cannon. No! Empty those shot lockers. Aye, aye, sir. Oh, oh my god. Handsomely now. Teach the beggars a lesson. Gun ready, sir. Oh my god. What the hell are you firing out of that cannon? Fireworks? Oh my god. Oh wow. What's all this? What's all this? <laughs> she go, it's the master. <laughs> That's so great. You gotta love it. She sounded like Dobby when he was always rushing. It's the master. Oh god, this movie's great. What's all this? What's all this? Bert, 
Mary Poppins, what is the meaning of this outrage? I beg your pardon? Will you be good enough to explain all this? First of all, I would like to make one thing quite clear. I never explain anything. Oh. Well, you got told. <laughs> Mr. Dawes, I'm most dreadfully sorry, sir, about what happened to the bank today. I can assure you that... Tonight, sir? Yes, Banks. We'll expect you at 9 o'clock precisely. Without oh. fail. Without fail. Well, yes, Banks. It's extremely serious. They're going to fire him. Yes, Mr. Dawes. I shall be there at 9 o'clock. Esteemed by your peers. And when your little tykes are crying, you haven't time to dry their tears. And see them grateful little faces smiling up at you. And all too soon they've up and grown. And then they've flown. And it's too late for you to give. Father, we're sorry about the tuppence. We didn't know it would cause you so much trouble. Here, Father, you can have the tuppence. Oh my god. Take your hat off, Banks. Looks like he's walking to hell. <laughs> I don't... Is this how they fired people? Oh my god! He just punched a hole in the hat! What the uh, hell? Do you have anything to say, Banks? Well, sir. They do say that... Confirm yes. it, Banks. I said, do you have anything to say? <laughs> just one word, sir. Yes? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> what? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Mary Poppins was right. It's extraordinary. It does make you feel better. <laughs> Would you like to hear a perfectly marvelous joke? A real snapper. <laughs> joke? Snapper? Yes. There are these two wonderful young people, Jane and Michael. And they meet one day on the street. And Jane says to Michael, I know a man with a wooden leg named Smith. And Michael says, really? What's the name of his other leg? <laughs> the man's gone mad. Call the guard. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. I'm feeling better all the time. Banks, don't you dare strike my father. There's the tuppence. The wonderful, fateful, <laughs> supercalifragilisticexpialidocious tuppence. Guard it well. Goodbye. I might pop through a chalk pavement picture and go for an outing in the country, or I might seize a horse off a merry-go-round and win the derby. Or I might just fly a <laughs> you know, to anybody else, that would sound so insane. <laughs> Poppins, my nanny. 
She's the one who sings that ridiculous song. A spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. <laughs> oh, wouldn't it? <laughs> what the hell? Is he okay? <laughs> He's dying. Let him go. He's going to heaven. <laughs> Winds come around blowing dead on from the west. She doesn't care what happens to us. She only promised to stay till the wind changed. Right, George W. Banks, 17 Cherry Tree Lane. About six foot one, I'd say, sir. Tell him what he might do in a fit of despondency. Yeah, where did he go? He didn't come home? There's a nice spot there by Southwark Bridge. Popular with jumpers. Really, Ellen? Oh, oh, It's oh. him. Or something that sounds like him. Mrs. Banks, could we have a little less noise on the premises? I can't make out what the inspector's saying. Just a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go <laughs> It's all right, sir. He's been found. Oh, George, what on earth were you doing in the cellar? You'll see in a moment. Where are the children? Jane! Michael! Your father's calling you. It doesn't sound like father. Jane! Michael! Run right along, speed spot. Oh, he fixed the kite. For paper and strings, <laughs> you can have your own set of wings. With your feet on the ground, you're a bird in flight. With your fist holding tight to the string of your kite. Oh, let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. Let's go. Fly a kite and send it soaring. That's what I said, sir. Go fly a kite. Oh, no, sir, no. I, I don't mean you personally. Let's go fly a kite. Let's go fly a kite and send it soaring. Up through the atmosphere. Up you. Capital bit of humor. Wooden leg named Smith. <laughs> or <laughs> Jones, whatever it was. Father died laughing. Oh, oh my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Nothing to be sorry about. <laughs> Never seen him happier in his life. Oh my God. He left an opening for a new partner. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much indeed, sir. <laughs> That's gratitude for you. Didn't even say goodbye. That bird Look talks? Them. Look at them. You know, they think more of their father than they do of you. That's as it should be. Well, yeah. don't you care? Practically perfect people never permit sentiment to muddle their thinking. Is that so? Well, I'll tell you one thing, Mary Poppins. You don't fool me a bit. Oh, really? Yes, really. I know exactly how you feel about the... Bye. Quite enough of that, <laughs> thank you. Mm hmm. <laughs> Goodbye, Mary Poppies. Don't stay away too long.
<laughs> Sorry, she just floating across the screen. It's great. All right, so that was Mary Poppins, and I gotta say, it was a really fun musical. I honestly... <laughs> it's another dog that I'm sitting, if anybody's been wondering. Um, no, I thought it was a very good movie. I thought it was very... You know, I think I would have appreciated it even more had I been alive during the time that it came out. Um, just because of the things that it was able to do. Like, putting real-life people in animated setting like that and making even though for today's standards you know green screen we could obviously tell but back then it was probably phenomenal to look at and it still holds up today i'm not trying to say it doesn't because it really does the songs are catchy the acting was perfect the story while it being very basic was very important and impactful as well so i think that it was very it was just very cool like it was a very cool movie to experience um and i'm really glad to have been able to share the, that experience with you all so if you guys like to watch my whole entire reaction to mary poppins on my patreon go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video okay thank you guys so much for joining me and i will see you all next time remember everybody stay totally terrific bye